Meditation with Jesus My Child, You Are Forgiven April 3rd, 2015 Spoken by Jackie Claire began, I like to share with you a very beautiful blessing the Lord gave me in prayer, and He told me that He wanted me to do this with you. As usual, I came into worship, and as I was worshiping Him, I saw Him standing on a bridge over a beautiful, crystal clear stream. It was a narrow stream, perhaps about eight feet wide, with an arch-shaped bridge with a railing. And the Lord was standing on the bridge with me, and He was holding me. We were listening to the music. I was so aware of my shortcomings and my sins and my failings. As we were worshipping, my mind would kind of drift off into another place, and I've really been concentrating lately on forgiveness. Very painful memories would come up, even though the Lord was holding me and I was just resting with my head on His chest. I would have these memories of things that were very painful, that were done to me, and I would make an act of the will to forgive. Lord, I make an act of the will to forgive them. These memories kept coming up, and then things that I had done, especially things like wasting time, lavishing time on foolish things for myself, rather than lavishing that time on souls. And just this really, really deep sense of remorse came over me, and I just started crying and crying. Different things would come to mind that I had done and how I had failed him, and each time something would come to mind, I would see a shadow. Something would come floating down the river and pass right under the bridge, and there would be blood on top of it. What it was, it was that package of sin that I'd been holding on to and the blood of Jesus was like a covering over it, or a red shadow that would float down this crystal clear water. The water was just so pristine and beautiful most of the time, but every time I thought of something that I had done and how I had failed him, I'd see this red shadow floating down the river, and really flowing all the way down the river and into the Sea of Mercy the sea of God's mercy. The Lord let me understand that I was forgiven, that it's gone, it's under the blood, that's done with. So this continued on for probably a good 20 minutes, and I just continued to come up with things that I was holding, that I felt really bad about, that I had failed him, and he just kept holding me, and the sweet praise music was playing in the background. These packages would just keep coming until I finally got the idea. And he said, All, all has been forgiven. Everything has been forgiven. There's nothing left to forgive, Claire. It's all gone. It's all been forgiven. And there was such a tremendous sense of release afterwards and an understanding that he'd forgiven me. He wanted this water, this crystal water, to be flowing freely, perfectly clear in my heart. These rivers of living water flowing so clear without any stains, without any remorse, without any unforgiveness, with no shadow and no stain of any kind, just pure pure living waters. He wanted me to experience that, and he wants you to experience that. 
So tonight he wanted me to do a meditation with you, to help you envision that, and to be able to release the things that you're holding on to, that you've done, or that others have done to you, to release them into the Lord's ocean of mercy. Let him sweep those things away. Let him cleanse you with that perfectly clear water, so that he can help you let go of the things the failures, the disappointments, and wounds of the past. And those waters can flow clearly through your hearts again, just as a newborn infant's pure, sparkling, clear water. So find a place, some place in the house, where you can have privacy, where you can be real quiet, no one will interrupt you. Just settle down for a moment, into a comfortable place. It's probably best to close your eyes and this beautiful park-like atmosphere with trees, flowers and beautiful green grass. It's a warm afternoon with gentle shadows and gentle sunlight filtering in through the trees. Not too far away is a stream, you can hear it gurgling. And this stream is amazingly clear water. I've just never seen water this pristine, just absolutely crystal all the way to the bottom. Beautiful white sandy bottom. There's a bridge across the stream, 10 feet wide. It's a small stream, but it's very deep and the bridge is an old-fashioned arch-shaped bridge with a railing. Now I'd like you to take a moment and recall to mind your very, very favorite, most favorite image of Jesus, the one that really comes alive to you in your heart. And I'd like you to see yourself standing with Jesus in the very center of the bridge over the stream. He's holding you very tenderly and your head is on his heart and you feel so much comfort being with him, his arms around you, and he's just holding you, gently but securely, and you feel such peace. The water is so clear, you can see moss on the bottom and shells, beautiful different colored shells, but mostly it's a white sandy bottom, pure crystal clear water, And now, you're going to begin just worshipping Him. You don't want anything to pollute that water. That water represents your stream of consciousness and your heart. What's in your heart? You're His bride. By His grace, it's crystal clear, but there are things that you need to forgive people for, because they've hurt you. As you're worshipping, your mind kind of drifts off when something comes to mind that really hurt you. And at the same time that you're resting your head on the Lord's heart, you can see the waters of this stream. And the waters are crystal clear with a white sandy bottom. For it is written that out of our innermost living waters will flow. And this is living water, nothing to cloud it. But as the Lord is holding you, Holy Spirit allows to come to mind what really hurt you deeply. And with the memory of that person that Holy Spirit has brought to mind, this pain in your heart just floods over you, and you remember what happened. You're hurt so terribly inside, and you're looking upstream. You see there's a red cloud floating in the crystal clear water and no longer can you see the white sandy bottom. It's moving towards you, murky, murky red. The murky part is the pain and the incident and what happened and how you were hurt. And the red part is the blood of the Lord covering the whole situation. And as it gets closer, the memory becomes more painful the person becomes more clear, 
You tell the Lord, Lord, I release them, I forgive them. I make an act of the will to forgive them, bless them. I forgive them, Lord. And as you say that, this murky red cloud passes underneath the bridge where you are standing with the Lord. The water becomes crystal clear again, and the white sandy bottom is showing. And that murky red cloud continues to flow downstream until it reaches a big body of water. And that body of water is the ocean of God's mercy. That memory and that person passes into the ocean of mercy to be lost and never seen again. And you ask the Lord to bless them. I forgive and bless them. And the Lord gently says to you, You may have forgiven them, but you still have the pain. It's okay to hurt, it's okay to have the pain, but that doesn't mean you haven't forgiven them. You have forgiven them. And then he brings another person to mind, and you tell the Lord, I forgive them, Lord. I make an act of the will to forgive them. Bless them, Lord. Please bless them. And again, that red shadow begins to approach from upstream and it comes towards you and it goes underneath the bridge and out into the ocean of His mercy. And the Lord is smiling very gently and holding you and He's so happy with you, so happy. Just meditate on these things for a few moments. Allow Holy Spirit to bring to mind those people who have deeply wounded and hurt you. It is written, Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And now that we've allowed the Lord to take us through our memories and expose some of the things that we haven't forgiven. Now it's the time to come to Him and ask Him to forgive us for the ways that we failed Him and failed our brother. And just as we experienced the cleansing power of His love as we forgave others, now as we come to Him, He'll forgive all of the things that we've done. Again, They'll be going downstream into His ocean of mercy, where they'll be forever and ever and ever buried in the very bottom of the ocean, until they are no more. And we can walk in freedom and joy and anticipation that soon there will be the midnight cry and the words, Behold, the bridegroom approaches, and the shofar will sound and will will forever be with the Lord in heaven. It's simply not his wish at all for us to be downcast and fearful until he comes. He wants us to be set free. He wants us to look up to the sky joyously. He doesn't want to see a bride that's all crumpled up and remorseful. He wants to see a bride who's victorious by the blood of the Lamb that has covered her sins and her faults. And she can look up to the sky with joy and complete confidence that her Lord is coming for her and forever she shall be with him. So let's do the exact same thing now for ourselves with our own sins. Let's enter into that place with the Holy Spirit and allow him to bring to the surface those things that we have great sorrow over, and let them be carried down to the ocean of His mercy, never to be seen or thought of again. My precious, precious child, you are forgiven. <laughs>